Hey guys, welcome back to Halftime. What was once one of the biggest rivalries in the 80s and the 90s continues to have a strong significance today, as Milan try to get closer to Inter and that coveted first place spot, while Napoli continue to fight for a spot in the Champions League. Today we are bringing in opposing fans from both AC Milan and Napoli to debate some of the most important topics on your mind, like Gattuso, Ancelotti, and of course, the show-stopping performance that Ibrahimovic had at San Remo. Let's meet today's fans. Sabrina, what is the most outrageous thing you have done for AC Milan? Uh, well, when they came to uh, play at BMO Field a number of years ago, me and my sister went to the game and we tried, we waited outside of the field for hours <laughs> to try and see some of the players. We tried to find what hotel they were staying at to try and track them down. Unfortunately, we never ended up running into them. Uh, but that was definitely probably a little bit too crazy, but anything for the love of the team. Now, Gianluca, what does Napoli mean to you? Well, I do have the and the Napoli symbol on my arm here. I don't know if you can see it. I'm not that flexible anymore. <laughs> so I have that. Um, there's another tattoo here of my father taking me to play soccer when I was a kid. So I basically took a picture. Uh, my mom actually took a picture of my dad holding my hand and we were walking away from the camera and he was taking me to play soccer. And I was wearing a Napoli jersey. Um, so I got that tattooed on my arm. That's more for the love of, of my father, but it also represents the connection, the way like we were able to strengthen our, our connection because of, of the game, right? So this specific rivalry was a lot bigger in the 80s and the 90s when, you know, you guys were battling out for the Scudetto. But do you still see each other's teams as big competition going into the match this weekend? Like we can start with you, Sabrina. Do you still see Napoli as a strong competition when you're on the pitch? Absolutely. They're still a great team. And being a Milan fan, especially, I love Gennaro Gattuso. I know what he can do. And it's it's terrifying going into the match because this feels like a match where if we're not 100%, we're not going to win this game. And we're at the point where we need all the points we can. So this is going to be a really competitive matchup against a really great team. And Gianluca as well. I mean, Milan were unbeaten for so long, but they are such a strong team this season. How do you feel seeing your team going into the match this weekend? Milan obviously is in a much better position than we are, as I think they're fighting for the Scudetto. Um, I also love Gattuso. I love I loved Ancelotti. And uh, I have so much respect for, for Milan. I mean, seven Champions League wins. They, they really represent Italy. Uh, like no other Italian club does. And so, you know, going back to the 90s with the epic battles with Maradona against Baresi, right? The, those were, for me, that's what that's what remains in, in my memory when I think of Napoli and Milan. And the mutual respect that they, they had and they continue to have for one another. I know, speaking on the topic of coaches, I mean, Gattuso, obviously a Milan legend, now coaching Napoli. Sabrina, does it hurt a little bit to know that they were able to win a trophy with Napoli, but not really achieve much with AC Milan? It does break my heart, especially because he was just one point away from getting Milan back to the Champions League. And I think that would have done so much for his legacy as a coach, because obviously his legacy as a player is huge. But um, as someone who's from the region of Calabria through my dad's side and um, Gattuso being from there as well, being from the same town as my dad, it just like on a personal level makes me so happy that he, he was able to win some silverware and being it that it was from a club that's from the South too, I mean, aside from the fact that I'm a Milan fan, that made me so happy. And now if we switch the tables a little bit with Ancelotti, I mean, he was huge for AC Milan, Champions League, Scudetti, and then he goes to Napoli and he's not quite able to replicate it. Gianluca, what do you think was missing? Why was Napoli not able to win with one of the best coaches in the world? I'll tell you what he was missing. He was missing Maldini, he was missing Kaká, he was missing Rui Costa, he was missing... I can continue. <laughs> That's who he was missing. But uh, no, he... Jokes aside, he... Uh, I think he did okay. Now guys, I have to ask you a little bit of a lighter question. Who would win in a karaoke bottle? Ibra or Insigne? <laughs> Um, I think if anyone watched a bit of the San Remo, <laughs> Ibra might not have the best singing voice, <laughs> but I think the fact that he's so charismatic, I'm going to go with my boy. I'm going to go with Ibra. <laughs>
That was that was an interesting um, video. I keep watching it, and it just gets cringier every time. Yes. <laughs> Going back to Insigne, um, given the limitations he has with uh, the standard Italian language, if you allow him to sing a song in the Neapolitan language, then I think he'd do very well. I think there's actually a video of him singing opera with Manolas. <laughs> Right now, before this match even starts, what do you think the current score is at halftime? For me, I'm really worried because um, Milan have a lot of injuries. Um, but if they play like they played against Hellas Verona, um, I would say at halftime, we would probably be either up one nothing or tied 1-1 with Napoli. It depends. Do you want to score with penalties for Milan or without? Given uh, Napoli's uh, defensive errors recently, I'm going to say 2-1 uh, to one for Milan with a PK for Milan scored by Kessi with his, you know, uh, custom little hop step or whatever you call it, which is quite nice. I mean, good for him. Hey, I was going to say, I was going to say, if there's a penalty, it's probably going to be because Manolas made another error or something <laughs> yeah, like that. For sure. Not because Milan are favored. Usually the trend is Juventus or, or Lazio, but this year I think Milan is, is taking over there. But hey, good for them. Thanks for watching. Remember that TLN is broadcasting the UEFA World Cup qualifiers. So head on over to tln.ca slash soccer to find out when teams like Italy, Spain, and Portugal are playing. Enjoy the rest of the match, and I will see you all at the next halftime.